So tonight's question comes from Amy. Um, it is about separation anxiety. And in fact, I've probably had about five clients this week um, ask me about separation anxiety and what it is. And it raises his ugly head in the middle of the night as well. I'm sure you all know what separation anxiety is. Um, if not, I'll define it in a second. I know I do after having had three toddlers clinging to my legs, um, you know, calling out in the middle of the night, bedtime resistance, uh, not wanting, you know, me or not wanting um, my hubby or their dad or not wanting to go to their grandparents. So separation anxiety is a normal and I say normal emotional stage of development and it can start um, to come through when babies understand that things and people exist when they're not present or what's called object permanence. So it can start as early as six months, generally peaks around about 12 to 18 months and uh, nearly all children, well, most children will you know, experience some sort of separation anxiety most often you can see that if you leave the room, your child will cry for you. And it won't just be a cry, it will be as if you've left the country and they'll never see you again. Um, first of all, I just want to say, don't be too concerned that something's wrong or that you've done something to make your baby act that way. That's not the case. It's actually quite normal. Um, really, you know, development of separation anxiety demonstrates that you and your baby have formed a healthy, loving attachment. It's a sign that your baby associates some pleasure, comfort, security in your presence, um, and that your baby is actually developing intellectually. Your baby's smart, so that's a good idea and a good thing. So how do you know if your baby has separation anxiety? They're clingy, they're crying when you're out of sight, they have a strong preference for mummy, daddy, or not either, they have fear of strangers, they wake up in the night crying and easily comforted by someone else's embrace. So, what can you do to make it better? A couple of quick hints. Give your baby or toddler lessons on object permanence. Play peekaboo, hide and seek, especially in their rooms, in their cot, under their bed, in their cupboard, wherever you can see fit where you can play peekaboo or hide and seek, role play. They love it. The next thing is tell your baby or toddler what to expect. If you're going away to the store or you're going out to the shops, you're leaving your bub with grandma or grandpa or dad or auntie or wherever, just explain. Say, mummy is going to the shops and I'll be back soon best way to practice that is in short safe separations or what I absolutely love is the be right back technique so when you go into another room whistle sing talk to your baby to let your let them know that you are still there they can still hear you even though they can't see you so you can always say be right back I was just gonna go get a glass of water fold the washing I'll be right back come back in a minute and come back Hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to uh, email me amanda at groovybabies.com.au.